Welcome back to another Breath of the Wild combat video. This time we're looking at specifically Lynels. This is not an in-depth fighting guide, but more of a secret tech video where you can add a couple more options and tools in your fights against Lynels. These techniques vary in skill range, so some may be more beginner friendly than others. But I hope all players will learn a neat trick or two by the end of this video. Also, before watching this, I highly recommend checking out my 5 advanced combat tips video to understand some techniques that are being used here today. Bomb Parry Edge Stuns This technique allows you to interrupt and slightly damage the Lionel during any of its attacks. This technique is fairly difficult for the faint of heart though, as it requires bomb parries to be performed regularly with good practice on timing and spacing of the edge of the bomb explosion. The general rule is if the edge of the explosion hits less than half the Lionel's hitbox, this will stun them. Too far and you'll miss. Too close and it will not edge stun, and missing the parry altogether will not activate the stun. If you're feeling more advanced, you can link together a jump cancel to a bomb drop, bomb parry to a parry cancel, and then headshot them, to take advantage of the short stun time this technique has. To break this down, while holding ZL the whole time, you first neutral jump and hit L midair to quickly summon a bomb, then successively hit L and A as quick as possible. The bomb explosion is before the parry. Then, right after the parry, you hit left quick select to bring up the shield menu and move to the other shield as soon as possible. This cancels the rest of the parry animation. As soon as you've released the left quick select, immediately draw your bow. Aim for the head, and the rest is up to you. Camera Spin This makes it so the Lionel cannot attack you and keeps searching for a path of attack. The Lionel at this point has two goals, to go to the top center of the screen and to get a certain distance to double back and attack. During this time that Lionel's run off and double back, this is the time you activate this technique. You can visualize a marker at the top of the screen and that is what the Lionel is aiming towards, so you can also do this without constantly spinning. Also, having a higher camera sensitivity is recommended for this to be easier to control. If you want to go a step further, you can aim the camera downward and steer him as if driving a car. The same rule applies, just keep him from getting out of bounds and he will never attack. If he gets out of bounds, he will double back to attack as he normally would. Finally, to take advantage of this, you can simply steer him around you while you poke at him with the spear. While weapon durability is certainly a problem at this point, it's also free damage and you can't get attacked. Just be careful, he can still run you over. Undercrouching Sometimes the safest place is not farther from the Lionel, but closer. Hello. Attacks like the Crusher Lionel 720 spin can ruin your day, but if you hang up beneath him, you can wait it out. While this is most effective against Crusher and Sword Lionels, this is unfortunately fairly useless against Spear Lionels, as they will do a hop back every time. Remember to do your crouch from the side, as the front is blocked by his front legs, and you will probably get a mouthful of Lionel Steel. To get the most damage out of this, try spinning right as the Lionel's attack ends. Then spin cancel to quickly stop yourself and crouch back underneath again. Flurry Rush Cancels While you may have seen this technique in my other videos, I have not explained this in depth, and this may show you why and how this technique is so good to get more mileage from your Flurry Rushes. Flurry Rushes can be performed with any weapon, but only with a sword and shield can it be jump cancelled at the end of the rush. This gives much more value to the sword while Flurry Rushing than any other weapon type. This allows you to do any number of follow-ups to extend the damage past the base flurry rush. The combinations shown are just a couple options, but you can create any number of ideas after flurry rushes. You can even incorporate techniques shown earlier to combine them with this technique. Look. Max 
Master Cycle Tricks. The newly added Master Cycle is a great new mode of transportation around Hyrule, but it can also strangely be a great way to heckle Lynels in multiple ways in combat. One of the ways is to summon the bike in front of any of its charging attacks. Both types of its charges make him vulnerable to be mounted if whiffed, and the bike acts as a great roadblock, so take advantage of this. The second strategy is the ass macking strategy. While this is already available on horses, the risk is much less here since the motorcycle isn't a living animal. Make sure to be on the opposite side of his body during his bow shots. The third trick is to use the bike as a mounting platform and a wheel chalk. To mount the Lionel repeatedly and prevent the Lionel from running off after jumping off. This will ground the Lionel in place making sure you can follow up to mount again. If done correctly, it should look something like this. This is a great way of dealing damage without using your main weapon's durability. Hey, listen. Unfortunately, this technique is hard to perform repeatedly because it only works against Lionel attacks that don't require him to move away. As soon as the Lionel runs off, you will have to restart the loop. I hope you guys learned a couple unorthodox things in this video that could help you out in a future fight against the Lionel. Thanks again to Breath of the Wild Reddit for sharing their feedback to make this video as easy to digest as possible. If you enjoyed watching, please like and share this video, and subscribe if you'd like, even though my content is few and far between. Until next time, happy Lionel hunting.